We got two addresses hold by Ilio Trade. We know now. We know. I got this one requested for a while. Ilio Trade, one of the biggest crypto influencers with 600k followers on YouTube and 600k followers. It's one of the big market movers. Yes, because when he's going to mention a coin, a token, or whatever on his YouTube or on his Twitter, the market is going to move fast. So what you want to do is to know that in advance so you can make massive gains and avoid massive losses. And then you make all that generational wealth and stuff like that. Idiot Trade is also well connected with Alex Baker, their best mates, 1.4 million followers, and they work together on Neo Tokyo. So just to give you an idea, today we are going to dig in to find the addresses, the wallets, the portfolio of Ilio things he never mentioned in public. So we will know what he is actually investing in. And by the way, welcome on Handsome Finance. Pull down your little match. I'm at the end of it because I did a lot of research today. And we are going to dig in Ilio Treats to find his wallet. While we do this, we explore what's happening in the crypto space with on-chain data. This is only available in crypto because we can see all the transactions that happen in crypto. So we will know in advance when he's investing in something or selling something. And we can know if he's hiding some stuff, if he's saying like, hey, buy this, but actually he's selling the same thing. We saw that in another influencer just before. You can watch one of the previous video. We are going to use two ways to find his address. First, maybe I can find this one if it's an NFT or something like that. So I'm just going to search the image on Google, I have Ilio Trades and a bunch of Pac-Man, so that's a miss for me. Now, I may come back to this later on, but first, I know that they launched their token for Neo Tokyo called Bytes. That, by the way, it doesn't make sense if you call it Bytes, call it Bytes as well, not Neo Tokyo here. We had a nice pump and dump recently, went up, went down, cool, on the past 90 days, you see that? So now I know why it went up, because there's some kind of Illuminati going on in the back. I will do a video next time about it, so click on subscribe if you want to see that and click on the notification bell with really weird price movement. Look at that. It goes down and then flat, and it just went back up. Now because they added up some utility to this token that probably not many people know about yet, but it will move more and more. We don't have all the information about the circulating supply of bytes. It doesn't matter. I'm going to take the contract address and I'm going to put it here in this software. I will put a link below. This is quite expensive to use, by the way, but you have one month free if you want. And what is interesting with this is I can see the balance. So I will know who is buying and selling in the last 30 days and who else would be buying here if they knew that they were going to bring some utility to this token right now. I don't know if they did this on their community, but I'm just going to dig in to see what I can find. So the change in the last 30 days, someone bought a lot or sold a lot. I can see two active token millionaires. So net worth $1 million. And here I have a net worth of 1.1. That's interesting. I'm going to open those two. Maybe I will find some information. Because we know that they either bought their token or dumped it. I'm not making any accusation. But so far, I can see that this person, okay, use the load the code protocol. What do we have? Liquidity provider. Okay. So what I can see here, the balance is pretty high with a value of 700K on a really small crypto, by the way. Cost basis, $8.00. So that person made some really good move. Now, when I see the balance here, I'm not so thrilled by it because that would mean they hold mostly bytes. And I don't think that would be Elliot address. By the way, you could actually use the address and try to find it here. Easier scan, it's free. And we can see what they're holding, what is going on. So we get 250k, 70k. So they don't have bytes here, you see. I don't see the bytes token. We get mask for 25k. Not that interesting. So that could be something to explore, but I don't think so. So 
I'm going to leave it for now. However, I think we're going to find a way. There's for sure a way that is going to work. Uh, this one, same, we can see that the balance went up recently with a cost basis of $12. Okay. I think they, they bought it in advance, to be honest. Like, nah, only buy its token, then it's not good. It's not for us. What I could check is just the top balance with owning a lot. And here, the Morvi on OpenSea. No, active token millionaire, high balance. We could have that one. You have to understand one thing. It does, those guys, they may have multiple wallets because you can open as many wallets as you want. It's free. This, this will help to cover your traces. And this was mostly for the burn address, so it's not for us. All right. We didn't find anything really interesting here. I will still follow what's popping with those people because that would be interesting. However, do not worry because I'm 90% sure that we are going to find it with another way. And we are going to use the Wayback Machine. So that's one of the favorite tools of Stalker. We're going to use level of stalking that your ex-girlfriend is using. By the way, if you're stalking her and she's not stalking you, you're doing something wrong here. Never stalk anyone. The Wayback Machine showed me the web pages back in the days. So I'm going to go at the beginning of it, your trades, see where I can find. Because what I'm looking for here is that if we talked about an NFT, if he posted an NFT, as the NFT is associated always to initial your address, then I will find who were the holders of this NFT and then I will know who he is. So here we don't have anything interesting. Maybe he could have a .eth address, that's the same, that will help us to find his portfolio. Let's check later on. Okay, this space is not loading. We go a little bit more in the future. You blocked a lot of trades. No, we didn't block him. He blocked himself. There we go. Finally, I have something that I like. This is probably an NFT. I'm going to click on the picture. We get the web archive. All right. Then a cheeky Google search of the image. Cyber Kong Rain Shadow. Genesis trade mailbox. That's probably our guy. All right. We do this. That's exactly the same. If I'm not wrong, we get the sunglasses. Yes, yes. That smells good, guys. And the Mohawk 54 assets. I don't know. Let's check on OpenSea. Best offer 5 Ethereum for 11K. And what I want to see, that's the extra rate. <laughs> I guess. I guess we got it. ET. Like. Heal your trades, like ET also, it was what he used at the beginning. You remember this? We saw the, the profile picture. Here it is, ET. And here, heal your trades balls. We got it. That's his address. That's it. Now, let's see how much money he have. Show me your portfolio, yacht. Look at that dominant token. 86K of Neo Tokyo Bytes. It couldn't be more him. Imposter blood. That's crazy. While it's loading, let's check what he have. Get ET votes. Bunch of NFTs, man. I love the NFTs, huh? It's too many. It's too many NFTs for me. Let me check what happened, though. I think we find something just before. So ET vote and ET vote. Send it to that guy. Right, a name. It's a transfer. So I don't see it as a sale. This is a transfer. And here, well, remember what we saw at the beginning? Oh man, there's nothing better than finding those addresses, honestly. That's it. <laughs> we got we got two addresses hold by Ilio Trades. We know now. We know. And I guess I feel a bit stupid because if I knew more about his NFT collection from the beginning, it wouldn't have taken me that long to find it. I would have searched that guy in the imposter Genesis aliens. I have no idea of what we're talking about. And apparently it's just a game. It's a game that, yeah, you can't play yet. Like all the NFT games, basically, you know, <laughs> all the crypto games. Like you can join a wait list, but there is no game being played. The only game being played is with your money. 
Nah, I'm pretty sure he's a nice guy. Actually, to be 100% fair and honest, I actually don't know his content. Just to let you know, if you use the skills, what we are learning here, in any other areas of business, you're going to grow a lot more. Because you could use this to find better marketing angles, better products. You can learn more. Because it's a lot about exploration. It's about finding connection and trying to link it back to something. And it works in everything, honestly. And I'm saying this as a French person doing YouTube. So you have your thought that you will listen to a French guy talking about crypto on YouTube. If it's no, then click on the thumbs up. Like this, I wouldn't know how many people expected this or not. And so far, we have a pretty good portfolio. 106 token worth, okay, NFT worth 80K, 80K in NFT, 94K in tokens. It's crazy because it always makes me realize every time I do videos that actually Mr. Beast is bigger than a lot of crypto influencers in crypto without being fully in crypto. Let's check the second address. By the way, we'll put the link in the description to get those addresses. I don't put them public, otherwise they get spammed too much. And it just makes my research a lot harder. And here we have a portfolio of 361k. And let's not forget one big detail that I got reminded when I was at the gym. This. I went to the dentist and I don't know why, but she was just cleaning my teeth and then ripped it off, go on the lips, right on, affected the pretty face, stock market of handsome finance crashing down. I was like, how could she do that? But then I realized one thing. It make all sense because she covered up my face to clean up my teeth. And then she probably realized, what the hell did I do covering such a pretty face? This is a crime. And she got stressed out and we ripped it off. Well, I guess that's what it is. Or I'd said something wrong, one or the other, but I would, I would assume the first one. But let's get back in and see how we can make money with this. So we are on half a mil, half a mil so far for all your trades. Fair play to him. Token was 200k and 151k in NFT. If we check the NFT gallery, the Cyber Kong is back here. I guess that's where he holds all his NFTs. But now, but that's not enough. That's not enough. We want to find other addresses. We have two. And I'm pretty sure we can find one or two other wallets with maybe the actual tokens is buying or selling. By the way, here you already have an alpha if you check all his NFT because he's going to pump it at the next bull market. It's going to be, hey guys, by the way, remember the Bored Ape kennel? Well, you should buy some because it's so cool. Or you guys remember the imposters? Of course, he's going to pump the imposters if the game get released. That's really interesting. The pudgy penguins. I think it's like all, all these collections of NFTs, they're not worthless. So it's probably really good at buying NFTs. Now I'm going to do a bit more deep down research to see what he's holding and also just to see his portfolio. So this one here, I'm not that happy with what I'm saying, like 12K. 12K is not enough. Get a work up. This one with 200K. So some tools will be better at estimating the price of the NFT. Some are better with the tokens. They are all different. And some are really good to visualize what's popping and what's going on. A quite simple way is to see where they send the money. So here we can see the zero X. So that's the one we already have, this address. We already know that one. We're going to do the same thing here. No transaction yet. It didn't send anything. We can't find it. So this one have really few transactions. So that's what they received from that. Okay. Traded some USDC for stake Ethereum. Okay. Maybe we can find another address. So that one we don't know. The 0x6FO, 03B, BYC. Okay. Board Ape. It sent all this Ape there. Uh, we get quite a lot actually. Wow, what happened here? On one day, January 1st, 2023, he sent tons of small transactions, probably minting something. Can I get, let me check the transaction hash. Hmm. I don't know what is that one. Sorry, not that interesting in the end. Sorry, but yep, not that interesting in the end for this. To be honest, the most interesting address will be that one because it's hold a lot of Bytes token. And we know that it's a really small market cap, so Holding 100k of bytes, it's enormous, it's gigantic. 
to prove that actually the Bytes is a fairly small market cap, even if I buy for $900 of it, I will make the price move. Let me buy actually $500 of it and we're going to check what it happened on the market. I'm going to pop the live charts here. I validate my transaction, transfer submit. We get every 15 minutes here. So we should be in that block. Let's see if we make the price move. $400. That's it. We got it here. $400. Now after they're pretty good at making people staking it, but again, that's going to be another topic, another video. I don't want to go in tons of direction. I already feel like in this video, I couldn't get everything packed in the same way because the research was really different than we're used to. And I hope you still like that. By the way, let me know in the comments if there's someone else addresses that you would like me to dig in. I'm going to run out of people at some point, but if you are here to help me, I will not. Now the address that I will really follow and put some alerts on, so I will do this for the investor's boardroom, but like this, as soon as he's sending some bytes or selling it, I can know in advance. And like this, I know if there's a market dump going on, because I think they're going to pump their token. They are really working hard on doing some other stuff with the token. Second thing I would do is check the biggest holders of the token bytes. So you can just put the address in it's a scan and I can already find some other addresses that I could dig in but then it's never going to stop. We already have two massive address from Elio Trade and I think we could find a lot more here. For example, we can see if there's a lot of different addresses. Oh, I think I find a new one. Elio NFT trading on OpenSea. There you go. I can add up this one to the list and then we get three addresses now. Isn't it amazing? There's so many trades again happening. If you want to dig in more, I'm pretty sure you can find all the stuff. You can join the investor boardroom. We're probably going to jump in together. You can do it on your own. You can send it to me. I would really appreciate it. But let's skip the video <laughs> a bit concise. It was a pleasure to do this video. Actually, if you're into this, you should check this influencer because his portfolio is actually fairly interesting. You're going to be surprised for sure. If you like this video, you can click on the thumbs up. It was a pleasure, a delight to do this video for you and with you to uh, let you see how I do my research. I hope you learn a lot. Let me know in the comments who you want to see next. And I mean, yeah, the button subscribe is here to be clicked and as well the notification bell because it's like 2015, right? Okay, see you in the next one. Stay handsome. Ciao.